Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Good afternoon, everyone, and Happy New Year, Eastern. It's great to be back for Topic Time uh, with Harrison Young in my 13th year now, officially, because I began it in 2010 and we're now in 2023. Here and I start 2023 with a beautiful lady here, <laughs> female guest. She's a fashion, fashion designer. She models her own clothes. She's a young go-getter. I thought she was a Gen Z, but she's actually a millennial right on the cusp, but she just told me. We're going to talk to her tonight. And this is Sari Anzalone. But before we get to her, is it Anzalone or Anzalone? Is that E silent? Oh, uh, well, my mom and dad would fight about that. It's, uh, it's, I say Anzalone. OK. But <laughs> well, it's Italian, for sure. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to figure out if it's in northern or southern Italy. But we won't worry about that. That's a show for another day. <laughs> yeah. Before we get to her, I've got to read these incredible underwriters, and then we will commence per usual. So we got Countertops Express in North Attleboro, experts in the installation and removal of quartz and granite. we got Auto Town Auto Glass and Auto Body in Abington. We got John's Greenhouses and Flora Shop in Brockton. We got Fadiologist 101 Barbershop in Brockton. We got 111 Tattoo Collective uh, moving to 478 Torrey Street soon. Right now they're still at 111 Torrey Street. We got Uplifted Nutrition in Taunton, makers of delicious uh, protein shakes and morsels. We got Armour uh, Arma Sports in Taunton, excuse me. We got Frenette and Associate PC, uh, Attorneys uh, Live there at one. We got Lynch's Towing Auto Cycling Truck Center in Brockton, one number for towing, one number for projects. Oh, he's looking for new scrap metal, wheels, anything to do with uh, transportation my Pat Lynch in Brockton can deal with. We got one good credit in Brockton. Uh, they have an offer for uh, in-state people, couples of $350, $650, a couple, person out of state, $450, $750, between January 3rd and January 7th, so you better hurry, I guess. We got Johnny, Mac's rest Johnny Macaroni's Restaurants, two in East Bridgewater, one in Halifax. We got Wings and Wellness, uh, Flo Cree Jacobson. In, in, we got Wings and Wellness in Stoughton and Flo Cree Jacobson Intuitive, also in Stoughton. They're two new ones. We got the law offices of Kahalane and Stefani PC in Brockton, specializing in workman's comp and personal injury law. We got the Gunrunner LLC, a Second Amendment Freedom Store in Middleborough. We got Grants Rental in Bridgewater. We got Eastern Fitness right here in the Village Shops in Northeastern. We got Doggy Boutique, all breed professional grooming for dogs and cats, run by my great next door neighbor Debbie Siddell in Brockton. We got RW Carpet and Flooring in Norton for covering floors for 50 years, and we got Joe's Diner in Taunton. And now, on that note, I'll officially in introduce Sari Anzalone, E or whatever, but uh, when you see it on the graphics, you can pronounce it any way you want. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful <laughs> name for a beautiful girl. Oh, and, uh, thank you. <laughs> and she's here tonight. We're going to talk to her about a company called Serendipity, is it? Yes, yeah, Serendipity Style. Named so. after herself. Wow, and why not? Why not? Yeah. Uh, well, when I was little, my parents used to sing to me, serendipity, doo da doo da. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. That's and, where the name comes from. <laughs> well, and, and I can tell that you can sing too, just from hearing that little uh, verse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever tried it? Um, no, no, no. Because, uh, because I we're mean, talk maybe alone in my room. No, alone in your room. All right. Well, we talk about all that stuff yeah. in my, you know, in topic time because you want to. When I profile a guest, I try to do it as thoroughly as possible. Oh, wonderful. So, so that having been said, let's talk about your history. Going back to your childhood, where did you grow up? How did you get into what you're doing now? Can you tell me what you mm -hmm. aspired to as a child, and how did it lead to what you're doing now? And if I have any questions pertaining to all of the above, I will throw them in as as I see fit. So go ahead. Well, it's a lot. Um, yeah, so I uh, grew up in Upton, okay. uh, Massachusetts. Great town. Yeah, um, you've been there. What's that? You've been there. I was th I was there on January second of two thousand two. For over what? Twenty one years ago. I told you I was selling my book. Oh, that's right. You were selling your book. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm yeah. gonna give you a so copy sorry. of one. I think you'll enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. Please do. I will. Um, All right, but keep talking. <laughs> Go ahead. You grew up in Upton. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, it's okay. They, I guess, I don't know, it's such a All right, you grew up in Upton. Yeah, I, up I don't know. Um, and then Probably near Route 16, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, uh, it's off of South Street. Yeah, I know. So. I know the area. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess I started with, uh, so when I was 11 or 12 years old, um, I did a lot of online shopping. So okay. So I was always like looking at all these clothes and I, had, you know, like any little girl, I really wanted them all. Of course. Um, so I decided I'm just going to make them. So I started to go into my own clothes um, and I would do like Frankenstein shirts. So I'd like cut up my Superman shirt and um, take my the Superman emblem and I like put it on my cherry shirt. I don't know if anyone had a cherry shirt when they were. I kind of remember. Little, them. Yeah, right. It was like. Well, I didn't have one, but I saw. I no, you them. remember. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, and I'd sew it on there. And then I took like my shoelaces and I'd, I, I wish I could find these old clothes. I should try to look for them, but um, yeah. And then my mom would come home from work and she saw these weird Frankenstein shirts I was making. And she was like, I gotta sign you up for sewing lessons. Oh. <laughs> so um, then I started to learn how to sew. Okay. Um, and I made my first pillowcase <laughs> okay. and my first Did it have any, did it have any fr crazy pics on it? Uh, yeah, I, I What did you have on the pillowcase? <laughs> I don't know if I have that pillowcase. No, anymore. no, but you remember what you had on there? I'm just telling you. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I don't. Just actually. psychedelic stuff, maybe? Yeah, maybe, okay, I don't you know. Don't, all right, you don't remember for sure. <laughs> I don't know. So knowing I you, I think you probably old. had some, right, but you Give probably had some. <laughs> no, but you probably had some kind of, some kind of eye-catching image on yeah it. yeah okay. um and then i made my first dress uh all from a pattern so okay. i didn't know how to design yet so okay. like learning how to sew and then learning how to design are really two different things okay um and then i made my own prom dress you know wow. so i you know i kept on sewing gr growing up uh and then i uh, went to mount ida college me too so that's a newton right yeah. so okay that's probably why i was on your recommended on facebook huh well my, i don't know about that they closed uh, in 2018 and that was long before i reached out to mm -hmm. you and i graduated in 2017 i know so the year I graduated before. Right you, before you just you 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 got you caught the, you caught the break enough so that you they want you know before they right. decided we can't do this anymore yeah, after about 110 years or something whatever it was i know and also my grandmother went to chamberlain yeah that's that, that was the girls school cool. next Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. And she Although uh, Monada was a girls, Monada used to be all girls. Yeah, she. I was worked. the one. Who, I was the one who infiltrated it as as the. And I wasn't the first guy, mm -hmm. but once once yeah. they saw me, they said, "We got to, you know, this." They started bringing in bringing guys, guys, right? Because right. it used to be an all girls school. That's right. right? Uh, yeah. No, my grandma went there for uh, interior design for, to change. Well, I got to say, arguably, at Mount Ida was probably the best fa fashion design school in the country because I've seen some of the models there and I've seen the clothes that. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you obviously have one of them. It was very tactile, which I really loved. Um, okay. I'm a very hands-on learner, yep, so yep. for me, like, just as soon as I started classes, it was like hands-on your design. Like, I that's where I really learned how to yeah. design, like right. draw an illustration and make it come to life. So, okay. Um, yeah. Well, that's great, and you've done and you've and you've done wonders. Well, obviously, those mm -hmm. videos that we saw, they, and the fashions you're wearing today, <laughs> by the way, which, is, which you designed yourself. Yes, yeah. So I took um, I upcycle now, so that's where serendipity style comes okay. in. Okay. Um, I just believe, you know, in sustainable fashion, and yeah. that we really need to start thinking about how are we going to help the environment more. So well, that's great. Um, so yeah, I uh, took a donated blazer it was like this long blazer i'll show the video here okay yeah we'll look at it about um, halfway through that's yeah, okay upcycled the into a skirt and um jacket combo so i it's have a jacket sweet here. jacket yeah yeah and so you did a little and you, and little you in, the in here so i took it off she took it off she did a, you know she's but she gets a little dance in the video that she does that <laughs> yeah so we'll show showing the, the people that she was that what she was going to wear on my show which i appreciate yeah yeah okay. it was fun to make so yeah it was yeah. fun okay all right, so here you so here you started selling your work when you were how old? Oh, um, I started selling my work. You said you started took it took sewing lessons when you were what eleven? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you realized that you had enough talent to sell at a young age, right? Uh, yeah, uh, eventually. Well, now how so about how young, or how old? I mean, I probably didn't start trying to sell my designs until I was in college. You know? Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah. So that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, no, um, not, I guess, totally. I'm 27. So, 27, yeah. almost 28. Yeah, so right. maybe like 10, 8 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, but so, yeah. okay, so basically you, you've honed your skill and you, and you decided that, mm -hmm. okay. When you were at Mount Ida doing, fa you did fashion design there, right? Yes, yep. Do you feel that, that, that they helped you along the way in a big, in a big manner? Oh, yeah, for okay. sure. All my, and I still am Large in, manner, I should say, not big manner. Large yeah. Manner. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm still in contact with most of my professors. and Even though they're not, they even they're not there anymore. That's great. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, you know, Alita Deo, I still talk to her. She, I, don't know if, I don't know any of those people. Oh. <laughs> I graduated in 1988, 20 years, almost 20 years before you did. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, maybe. Did I say probably 20, not. probably 30? Oh, 30. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, 1988 to 2017, that's <laughs> right, 29 right. years. But I don't feel old at all. I love it. Okay. No, you don't act old either, no, so look you're at fine. That. I, I, I'm, ju I'm very juvenile. <laughs> yes. I'm glad you, and thank you for noticing. I appreciate that. Of course, that. yeah. yeah. Oh, good, I'm glad. I mean, we're on the same wavelength mentality-wise, and mm -hmm. that's, that, that makes a lot of sense, and I love it. Okay. All right, so right now, when did you start Serendipity? How long ago? Um, in 2020. So I... 
started it after I was laid off from my job right. um, from COVID. COVID, yeah. So, um, and that's, yeah, when I just started upcycling and I started doing like a theme every month. Okay. I set up a photo shoot and, you know, I created collections based off of like color schemes and so if you go to my website, serendipitystyle.com, you'll see that I have different themed collections on right. there um, that are for sale. So, uh, so yeah, you can purchase them on there. Um, and I, yeah, it all started online. And then um, I actually was rehired by the job that I lost what was in it? 2021. It was at Brahmin. I was something to do with clothing. Clothing. Uh, handbags. Oh, okay. So I was a material. Oh, fashion. Yeah, I was a material okay. designer okay. for Brahmin handbags. Um, they were located in Fairhaven, Massachusetts, yep. so southern. Um, South Coast, I know. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, yeah, so, and I, I worked there for a year, uh, but I just, I really missed just being like totally in serendipity style, and um, I... Uh, now just moved into uh, Noella Luxury Beauty on Court Street, so 32 Court Street. That's Plymouth, right? Plymouth, yeah. Well, wait a minute. So you actually travel from Upton to Plymouth? No, I don't live in Upton anymore. That's oh. where I grew up. Oh, I thought you still live. Okay. <laughs> no, I live in Rentham, which is still a little bit, but it, it's less of a hike. Right, it is. But wow, that's still yeah. that's still a pretty good hike to Plymouth. My brother lives here in Easton. He goes to Plymouth. He works in Plymouth too, mm -hmm. and I took him an hour to get yeah, there. It was like 40 minutes. Right, five depending minutes. on that's the not traffic too bad. and stuff. All yeah, right. Well. And I really love my apartment, so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I know Court Street. That's that's Route Three A. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm inside of a hair salon. So oh, okay, yes. Melissa um, Jorstad owns it, okay. and she's a good friend of mine. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, so we made you know a, she had an open space for me. So I decided to quit my job at Brahmin and just be full time. I just took the jump. I took the risk, you know, and just. And it's paid in. off in the yes. big, big dividends, right? Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I would not want it any other way. I'm honestly, I think that was the best decision I've made in my life. So, That's great. Yeah. And, and, and to do my show was another great decision. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Obviously, I was that so goes excited. Saying, obviously, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, you didn't even say hi to me. You were just like, do you want to be on my show? <laughs> well, you know what it is? That's because... Because you know what it is, if you if you say hi to someone, a guy saying hi to a girl on Facebook, they they freak out. They're like, what is this? What is this guy weird or something? Oh, she's now. I'm not like that. No, you're not like that. But I didn't. But, but I didn't <laughs> but know. But I that. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know that. So, I mean, I know a lot of. Uh, I don't really understand it. A lot of women always are like, who's messaging me? Why are they messaging me? Right. This creep. It's like you don't know what they want. Right. That's why I come right to the point. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean that doesn't that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I'm not. Well, you know, I'm. It doesn't right. mean there are other things <laughs> in my mind too. But it, but I but right. I don't want you to. But that what I'm saying is. I mean, unless the guy. Is like, hey, gorgeous. Right. Want to hook up sometime? Then right. um, you're in the clear. He's probably just saying hi. <laughs> right. Want but, something else? I don't know. But, <laughs> you then, know? but, you, but remember, when you when you when you have a gig like me, like mine, people, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, it's it's kind of like it shows people, it shows girls that you're kind of cool. Yeah. And that's what I wanted you to think. And I mm -hmm. and that's why I asked you to do the show. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. So that's true. I mean, that's basically, and, and that's, I mean, I'll ask anybody the same thing. You want to do me, be my show topic time? Because mm -hmm. usually, because I'm so established now that usually all you got to do when you see, when I say it, if you go to my Facebook page, there it is. There's tons of shows. I share them shamelessly. Yeah, I was looking through them the other day. I right. Mean, I was, you know. You can't, you know, because I, and, and I do it number one to, so people like, like yourself who didn't know me before mm -hmm. can say, oh, that, that, I got to do this show. Number two, right. to get more views on YouTube. Right. So right. it's a win win. Yeah, it right. is a win win. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now you, you so how, so how often you, a week? How often? How, let me just phrase this. How many days a week are you at that store at that shop? So I yeah, I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. Okay, even though you're yeah. not there, were you there today earlier? Yes, I was. Oh, actually. you were. Okay. I came straight here from my from boutique, there. Oh, yeah. yeah, from Plymouth. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I also sell um, consignment as well. So consignment mm -hmm. for what is for what is for what? Um, clothes consignment. Oh, I so see. It, yeah, I also like sell designer clothes, you know, that aren't mine. Oh, I see as what you well. mean. So, okay. Yeah. But you have your own label on the clothes I that do. I use. I do. I have my own label as well. So oh. I have both. I have a rack in there that's all like my upcycled stuff that yep. I worked on yeah. myself. And then I have other racks as well that are, you know, designer clothes okay. um, from like Dylan or Calvin Klein or, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so but. Um, as far as like, as far as taking your, your work to the, mm -hmm. to the next level in terms of presenting it, marketing it, 
How, how, much, how much publicity have you gotten, like, you know, in the, big, in the big model scales, like New York, Paris, if any? I'm just, I oh. mean, I said at some point you will. Oh, uh, uh, how much? Hmm. Um, Why don't we hold up I mean, on that? We're going to watch yeah. a little, right now, it, 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 Sarah's going to think about that, and we're okay. going to watch a video of her, of her fashion, uh, of a little dance she it's did. Like com oh, yeah, the, and the commercial that and she my did. my commercial, yeah. Yeah, it's yes. just basically a YouTube feature on her, on her work, and it yes. looks beautiful. So, and the video was made by my best friend, um, Danny Ortiz. He um, goes by Jaded Shutter on Instagram, and he does high-quality videos like these. So if you need a video, if you need a photographer... We'll get him on the show. Yeah, he's great. You should. I will. You totally should. All right. I'm sold. Yeah. All right. So, folks, we're going to watch the video and we'll be right back. So, hang in and we'll come right back. Oh, that was great, Sarah. <laughs> Boy, you are, you are talented, and so is D Mr. Ortiz over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between the two of you, you got quite a collab going. Yeah, he, I met him in college. Okay. Um, so funny enough, he is actually the cousin of my ex-boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, but we became best of friends. Um, I was his best man in his wedding. and I'm You were the best man in his wedding? I was the best man, yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so, and um, I, I, I guess I don't need to, you, know, you don't need to elaborate on that. I mean, this, t <laughs> this day and age, anything is anything, fine. Anything, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I became best friends with his wife as well. So okay. We all, you know, she. I helped. I guess I could be the flower girl to someone's wedding. You yeah. I think I actually might make him my flower girl in the future. So hey, oh. you can do whatever you want. Okay. So that sounds fun. <laughs> hey, listen. I think I think it's great. I mean, we're living in 2023 now. You know, yeah, anything goes, whatever. Well, not anything, but at least you know. <laughs> I don't know. The customs, the customs have changed. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot more, fewer restrictions on living your life the way you want it. Why are you playing with that? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just like, what is this? So much your microphone connection. It just if like you, connects. If you break it, it you're gonna lose the connection. No, I'm sorry. I was just curious. You're being, you're, about being it. A, you're being silly. I like it though. I was just curious. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I have children, you know, I know it's going. You're going back to your fidgety years when you were younger and you were playing with. Like, I know. I'm that, a kid. Doing those, <laughs> taking your clothes and cutting them up and changing, yeah. changing the pictures and everything. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so as far now let me ask you, just off the cuff, have you ever done anything else in entertainment? Like, have you ever done any acting? I know you more yes, than I, um, Talk about that. Yeah, sure. Um, just recently, I was um, in a music video. Okay, about? So, know, tell me about the video. Um, it's this Spanish artist. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm, oh, his name's Willow. Okay. And um, the music video will be out soon. It's not out yet, but okay. in a couple of weeks it'll be out. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, um, and I just did a little... Um, little acting job where I just had to like you know pretend I was like in love with him and that he was getting engaged to me so there's like a proposal scene and, okay 
yeah, so it was it was a lot of fun. Um, I really I love to do a little bit of acting and modeling just as like a break from the fashion world. It's it's fun for me. So I don't blame you. You're great yeah. at it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what about music? You play. Speaking of music, have you have you perform sing? I mean, you told me you no, sang by yourself, I, I, but you don't no, sing though. Sing no, I just alone so, in my you, room. But you sang a little bit of a you know a little bit of a uh, a, 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 a yeah. So we were opening up tonight, and it sounded pretty good. <laughs> no, thanks. Well, I don't know. It might be something you might want to look into. Yeah. You know, well, it's, it's up to you. you got, but what I tell every person that I interview is that the more multifaceted you are, the more opportunities you're going to have, no yeah. matter what you do. Oh, I'm very multifaceted. Oh, I'm sure you are. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do alterations. I also I also have another brand called Anza Originals. That okay, what's all clo more clothes? So, yeah. Okay. So those are like my designs that I designed from scratch. Okay. So that's like my more like high end, like I d literally, you know, cut this out of fabric and designed it. I actually just my uh, most recent post on my personal Instagram, Speak Out Sarah, um, that's where like I post all my modeling and okay. I model my own designs. So my most recent one, I'm wearing a sparkly top. So if you go to my Instagram page, you'll get okay. to see that. And I, I do try to sell it. So, um, you know, if anybody was to DM me and be like, oh, I love this top that you're modeling. I'm, these are my measurements you can order the top through me. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, well, yeah. Me, you, you, William, you don't have to actually measure, you don't really, I guess you really don't have to measure somebody. In order to know, as long as you know it, then you can send them something. Well, I would tell them what measurements I needed, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, well, but, but can you tell just from looking at them or hearing them? Oh, no, no, no. They, me, they, do, they, they measure for me. you and then, you know, I mean, you don't have to actually measure them personally, right? Or do you? Uh, no, no, I don't. Yeah, they can measure themselves. Or they measure themselves. They could just tell me what size they And then are, you, just, you just ship it to them on either yeah. UPS or something, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Wow. That's yeah, a, that's so I mean, even if they were to be like, oh, like I'm a size six, then I would, I could go off of that as well. Right. You know, if they didn't know how to measure. Cause I right, because sometimes it's not as easy to, yeah. I, I would think, I mean, I've never been measured for a corset or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's diagrams too. Sometimes I'll send them like a diagram, like this is how you measure for your butt. Well, you show, you can show weight. people, that's that's fascinating. You can yeah. show people how to measure and they just do it and then you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I can, then I'll just, just make it and send it to them. <laughs> That, that necklace you're wearing, do you, do you design jewelry too? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just wondering. <laughs> you think I do everything. Well, I try to, no, yeah. No, no, um, this it's is a, from the Polar Caves, actually. It's what? It's from the Polar Caves in New Hampshire. You okay. have been there? Uh, I've never, I've so been, Amethyst, it's my birthstone. Oh, oh, that's February, I guess. Yes, that is February. Oh, I didn't know that, I didn't realize, okay. Aquarius. What's, I don't know what October is, that's my birth year. What date? Third. Third? Yeah. Uh, Libra. I know my I know my horoscope. I didn't oh, know what okay. my stone was though. Oh, your stone! I don't know what your like, stone is. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Right. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so, so you do most of your, you do most of your sales at the shop in Plymouth or the, or, or at home yes. or both? Um, both. I would say most of them are yeah at my Plymouth. shop yeah in Plymouth. Okay. A and lot of foot traffic out there. It is such. Oh, amazing. I know there is. I know that it street. is an amazing area. I'm absolutely in love with Plymouth. So I want to move there someday. Okay. Um, I there's a wine bar there that I love. It's called Uva, and you go and like, you can like dispense wine all day. They just have like all these like wine dispense you, things. You like wine, huh? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> and then there's an art gallery there that yeah, I'm in love oh, with this art gallery. It's called 13 Court. I, I've done shows there before. You have? Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to do shows on the road. In fact. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I like Plymouth, too. I go down. Well, I have some underwriters there, too. Not, mm. not usually for the Eastern show, but I do my show in other locations. I do one in Area 58 in Carver. And usually if I have underwriters in Plymouth, I give them the Carver show because mm -hmm. it's closer. But I, but I got you, you. Are you familiar with something for your dust? It's a little antique store, right? Yes, on, yeah. It's that's you know, right. Dan? It's like right next to me. It's a block over. Have you ever gone? Have you been in there? Yes, I've gone in there. You, I well, Dan's a friend of together. mine, and he's that's under, your friend. That's my friend. Oh my goodness! Small world. I know. Wow. Dan Contrino. Oh, he's so sweet. Yeah, I. Uh, it's really interesting. So he has all these antique cameras in there. Really I know. Interesting. Yeah. I, I know I he love does. It. I, I, yeah, yeah. Of that, course you know. Sorry. I, well, no, it's not. A <laughs> well, they don't know. Well, no, that's true. No, I know. You're right. You're right. You have to present. We have to yeah. present to, to the audience. No, I'm, it's, I like these revelations we're having. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a, there's also a little. Uh, I went into. A, I got an underwriter who the lady. Cre it's called Kip Cakes or something. They, she makes. She she creates treats for dogs. 
Oh wait, I did see that. But you know what I I'm never talking. went in there because I don't have a dog. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. Eat, yeah, but they look good enough for humans. Oh, what about eat. Keegan's? Have you been in Keegan's? Ah, uh, probably. It don't doesn't sound familiar. So the, Keegan's is like kind of right near something for your dust, but uh, something. For, yeah. Yeah, but Keegan's is a coffee place, and that's okay. really good. Well, yeah. see, how we've been talking. We're not, we're down to the final five minutes. Right? Oh wow. Can we make yeah, it. Yeah, went by so fast. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, Abby just gave me the signal. Why don't we? Okay. What I so what I want you to do, like I said at the beginning, is just look at the camera, give some shouts out to people. You can start with the, you know, uh, your your partner, your business partner and your friend sure. and, and then your family um, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, I will, well obviously a shout out to my best friend, Danny Ortiz. He goes by dancing, he uh, makes music and he and we'll get some, we'd like to get him on the show. If you like what you see here, you can come yeah, on Yeah, I yourself. definitely get him on the show. Okay. Um, and then also shout out obviously to my family, my mom and dad, Marsha Anzalone and Tony Anzalone and my brother, Scott Anzalone, my sister-in-law, Lonnie Anzalone. And, um, I don't know. Well, that's all right. The Italian yeah. family is, good, is big enough for me. <laughs> I just say shout out to all of them. That's all right. Uh, no, that's fine. Out, yeah, my brother is in UCLA right now. Wow, he's what's he yeah, majoring he's in? Yeah, he's going there. Uh, screenwriting. So oh, well, that, you know, we can do LA. Zoom here. If he can do, if he can get up, if he wants to do a show oh, by Zoom. Oh, he would love to. Yeah, yeah. 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 Totally. I can go anywhere, <laughs> yeah, Sarah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, yeah, he's um, taking classes out there. So. Okay. And if, he, and if he has any work he wants to present, we can do that too. Like oh, yeah. Just the yeah. same way we're doing your video. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, Thank if he wants you. Like, yeah, all he got to do, all he has to do is email it to, to Joe, th 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 you know, from, mm -hmm. from, his, from his side. Oh, cool. Well, okay, now, before we wrap the show up, do you have yes. anything coming up that you want to mention that you might have overlooked in the near future? Any events? Any, any events? Oh, any, uh, any, anything, that, any projects, anything? Yeah, I. Go I ahead. Mean, uh, mention it. <laughs> that, whatever. Them, whatever. <laughs> um, well, I'm always having different sales, um, okay. so come by to Serendipity Style, um, Noella Lu Luxury Beauty. What's the address there at 16 Court, something Court 30, Street? 32 Court Street, Plymouth, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Plymouth, Mass. In, it's not North Plymouth, it's just Plymouth, right? Just Plymouth. Okay. Yeah, so, um, and I'm inside of a hair salon, so you got to come inside. Called Melissa's? Yeah, and no Noella Luxury Beauty. Noella, okay, your friend's yeah. name's Melissa, but I... Okay. Yeah, yeah, but Melissa Jorstad is the owner of the salon. Right, so, okay. Um, so, yeah, come on inside and... Um, She'll take care of you. Yeah, I will style you. <laughs> well, that's so perfect. There I'm there every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so come through. Except today. Come say hi. Yeah, well, she was there today. But I was here. there today, actually. <laughs> so now that next Thursday, she'll be there later. Yeah. She won't be here. Yeah. All right, well, Sarah, you did a great job. I hope you had fun. Yeah, definitely. This was super fun. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we're going to wrap the show up the way we began it with my music. And again, snap if you want, but please don't bang the table, is all okay. I ask. Okay, no, I respect the table. No, it's not the table, <laughs> it's the CD I'm worried about. It's the, it's the table. I don't care about the table. You can you can totally demolish it after we finish. Oh, I just okay. don't want my CD to. to we're gonna take to, an axe to the table. After, yeah, she's so gonna take an axe to the table, but <laughs> that's not gonna be. We're gonna be done by that time. <laughs> All right, folks. Happy New Year. See you next time. Happy on another New great Year. show. Have a good one. Bye bye. We're wrapping it up. <laughs>